Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. In this video we will see how model the model, using SOLIDWORKS and how to add coordinated to the necessary parts. This is the final assembly. This is the sketch of the modeling part. We are not use wheels to the model. We want a some angle to the pendulum and a external force U to the model. Also for additional example we have to use another force at the top of the pendulum. This is the model cart. We have to model the cube part. Use these dimensions and extrude this for 80 millimeters in the mid plane. Then come to the top part. Add the sketch on the top of the cube and draw this and again extrude this for 20 millimeters. Keep the distance between the mid plane 15 millimeters. Then use cut extrude tool to add the hole. Diameter is 10 millimeters. After that mirror this about front plane. Adding coordinate part I will show you at the coming video. Because we have add some other coordinates too. Now the cart modeling is finished. Now we are coming to the pendulum part. Add the sketch on the top plane and sketch 10 millimeters diameter. Then extrude for 800 millimeters. Then add a sketch on front plane and also add a 10 millimeters diameter sketch. Then extrude this at the mid plane for 50 millimeters. Adding coordinates I will show you later. This is the end of the pendulum part. Save this and go to model the base part. This is the base part. Only have to add the sketch on the top plane and extrude this for 10 millimeters. Now we are going to assemble the parts. Open files and click on make assembly from parts. Drag the parts and start assembly. Before start mating we have to fix the base. Select the cart bottom and coincide with the base. Limit the cart movement for X axis only. For this use another mate. Now you can see the movement.
use another mate to fix the cart at the middle. Later before exporting the model you have to delete this mate. It is very important. Then mate the pendulum and add 5 degree angle to it. Consider the applying force at the cart. Later before exporting the model this also you have to delete. It is very important. Otherwise the model can't get movements in Simulink. This is the end of the modeling part. See you on the next video. In that I will show you how to add coordinates and how to export the model to the Simscape and the plugins which you need to do that. See my channel blog for more help on this and read more about Simscape Multibody. I hope you all will subscribe my channel. Leave comments on here. See you on the next video.